Hello my YouTube lovelies and how are you? So this video is not going to be long but as you can tell from the title I'm going to be sharing the things that I got um, from the MAC Toledo collection that launched online last Thursday and is going to be uh, released or launching in the stores this coming um, Thursday of February 5th. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff um, because unfortunately our pro discount you know was not able to be applied to this which is fine so I only purchased three things from the collection yeah. so here's my black box here's my black box I've been waiting 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 for my box to come Okay, so here is the black box. And yes, can we say fabulousness? This is what I got. Can you guys see in the box? So I only purchased three things like I said. And I'm going to show you now what I got. Okay. So I picked up one of the lipsticks. Um, I'm so mad at myself. I got the wrong lipstick. Um, so I think the one that I wanted, I don't think it's sold out online. But I think I'm just going to wait till the collection releases, bleh, releases in the store on Thursday. And during lunch, I can go to Mac or Mac Pro and see if I can pick it up. Um, but let's talk about this packaging first. Let's just talk about the packaging before I even get into, you know, the three things that I got. Mac did this. Like, like this lipstick box, this is, um, this is actually a, the sleeve. Um, and then this is the packaging um, the box. The boxes are so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. And you guys know that this is the collection that they collaborated with Isabel and Ruben Toledo from um, their fashion designers and artists. Amazing. Like, look at this. This is super cute. Super, super cute. I love, love, love the packaging. And the packaging and I'm not a pack a packaging sucker. Like I'm not a sucker for packaging. Packaging sucker that didn't sound good. I'm not a sucker for packaging. So, you know, a lot of the collections that have come out that had, um, you know, special packaging. You know, if it's not what I wanted, I just didn't buy it. Um, but Mac outdid themselves with the packaging. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. Um, so. In any event, like this, I probably, if I didn't have anything that was on my list, I probably just bought one thing just for the packaging for this collection. Um, but the lipstick that I got was Tenor Voice. I don't know if you can, hopefully the camera's focused, hopefully. And it's a matte. I got the wrong color, guys. It's, it's a red. It's like red. It's a red lipstick. I didn't want this one. I wanted the, I think it's called Victorian, I'm not sure which one it was, I have to check to see which one it is, because I think that one's like the um, coral pinky kind of color, and that's the one that I wanted. I know the popular shade was the Oxford Blood, um, I didn't get that one, but that one sold out online and the matching lip gloss. But I got the wrong dang on lipstick, so um, I show this to a coworker um, since the packaging, the packages came to me at work, and she says, "Well, if you don't want it, you know, give it to me and I'll buy it from you." So I might just give this lipstick to her. I didn't swatch it or anything, and you know, when she saw it, she was like, "Oh, this is cute." She's like, "Yeah, I'll do it." So I might just give it to her, and then try and go to the store and um, and get the actual one that I want but guys the packaging is outstanding like out of this world Mac did a really good job um, with this collection and the packaging and the other two items that I purchased 
were two of the blush ombres. OMG. Okay, so you guys know that MAC originally released the blush ombres in the spring forecast collection. I was still new to makeup, so I didn't realize like how important it was that when it's something limited edition, you jump on it. Because, you know, I was just like, eh, I don't know if I want them, I don't know if I want them. And that's when they came out with the Azalea Blossom, the Ripe Peach, and the Vintage Grape. I didn't get any of them. And by the time I made up my mind, the whole collection was practically sold out. I think the only thing I had gotten from the Spring Forecast Collection was like pig, the crushed pigments, which I barely use now. But then, you know, when I was looking at videos on YouTube, I was like, oh man, why didn't I get it? You know, as you get into this thing, you start to learn. Okay, limited edition stuff, you have to jump on it. So, I never got my hands on any of those blush ombres. Now, I don't know if it was maybe a year or two later, another collection was uh, released and they re-released Vintage Grape. So, I was able to get my hands on that. So I have that, but it's in the regular um, MAC packaging. It's, it's, it's a lot bigger than their regular blushes, but I was able to get my hands on that. But I never got my hands on right peach or azalea blossom. And I was very, very upset. So when I saw that they were going to be releasing, um, re-releasing -rele re the blush ombres in this collection and with the special packaging, you know, I was just like, yeah, we have got to jump on this. We have got to get it because I cannot not get this blush. And the fact, again, that it was in the special packaging just made it all more of the while worth, worth it. So these are the two that I got. And again, I got the Azalea Blossom and the Ripe Peach. Um, I didn't get the Kindergarten Bread. I don't know. I may go back and get it. When I go to the store on Thursday, when the collection launches in the store, I may go and get it. But I really wasn't interested in that one. I was more so interested in these two. And just so you know, before I forget, the price of the lipsticks are $17.50, I believe. You know, and obviously it costs more because of the special packaging. Because I think a regular MAC lipstick is now $16. So they added like $1.50 on more for the, for the special packaging. The blush ombres are $32, but let me just open it. Um, this is the right peach. Can, can we look at this compact? Look at this. Look at this packaging. Like, oh, this is gorgeous. I, I can't get over this packaging, but this is right peach. And unlike uh, most of the compacts, I don't, oh. What happened? Oh, it slid right under. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I am so happy I have this. Now, I what? Oop. Oh, please. No nicking. I was uh, watching uh, a Laura Beauty her review on the collection. And the thing is, the pigmentation on these are really not that. Like, they come up. I don't know if you could see that. But then when I sheer it out on my skin, you really can't see it. Like you have to do a couple of applications to build on this. So, um, yeah, then you probably can faintly see that, you know, and it took me like three swipes just to get that. What I said I was going to do and, you know, just a suggestion for everyone else. If you can find a cream blush that's kind of close to this color, um, maybe that has a little bit of both colors blended in, or you know, if you can find one, you know, both these colors, and just lay it as a base on your cheeks or wherever you're gonna place the blush on, right? Whether it be the apples or toward the hollow, um, the backs of your cheeks. You you take a cream blush and lay it down as a base you'll probably get a better color payoff when you apply it um, from the pan. So that's just an FYI, but this is a beautiful color for spring. And again, you know, if you don't, you're gonna have to swipe it in there a few times. You'll probably still have to put on a few applications, but I think 
if you lay down a cream blush as a base, you'll come off a little bit better um, as far as seeing it um, on your cheeks. But I'm so happy that I got this one. And I got the Azalea Blossom. Um, and again, I think I'm going to keep these boxes. I really don't keep boxes. But I think I'm going to keep these because these are adorable. So again, there's the packaging for um, the Azalea Blossom. Oh my God, I cannot, cannot, cannot. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this is pretty. But then again, it's very sheer. So I'll probably just have to lay down a cream blush. See, and I took two swipes on that one. So I'll probably just have to lay down a cream blush just so um, I can, um, you know, so you can kind of see it more. Um, MAC has some great, some cream color bases and some cheek, cream cheek colors you can purchase or make it forever aqua creams. I know NYX has some cream blushes, you know, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative. Um... I'm, I'm sure there's a, a, quite a few different ways you can um, um, make a blush or I'll be honest with you what I used to do when I was in high school I used to take my lipstick and use it put it as blush I don't know if anybody used to do that but I did and then put blush on top of it like I would put it down on my cheeks and then I put blush on top of it so you can do that too if you don't have any cream blushes there's always something to do so that was all I got from the um, MAC Toledo collection. And again, the packaging is to die for. So I'm hoping that if you guys haven't already ordered your stuff online and gotten your stuff online, that you will make it to the stores or your local counter on Thursday and pick this up. Um, again, I only got two of the blush ombres and one lipstick. And I got the wrong lipstick. Um, nothing else really appealed to me. Um, but I, I had to make it up in my mind that I wanted those two blush ombres. And I'm going to try and see if I can go back to the store and get the lipstick that I wanted. If not, no biggie, no harm, no foul. But my main um, priority was the two blush ombres. Um, MAC also released another collection um, and it's called Penciled In. And that was... The lip pencils, lipsticks, and matching lip glasses. So when I was ordering my Ruben Toledo, um, the Toledo collection stuff, I was so excited I forgot to um, order that stuff from that collection as well. So I closed out my order for the Toledo collection and then I had to go back in and put in another order. I was like, really? Really. but whatever so I got another black box <laughs> um, and I'm just going to show you what I got from that collection I got two of the lip glasses and three of the lip pencils and boxes boxes and receipts <laughs> so I got three of the lip pencils I got Ruby Woo and you guys know um, I don't have Ruby Woo I have Riri Woo but they're the same color it's the same with I have Nightingale and I have Candy Yum Yum so let's open this one first um when I saw this one I was like oh this is pretty cool but I'm starting to think that this one is the same as the Embrace Me Lip Pencil Let's see, shall we? Um, and that's the one that came out a while back. I don't remember what collection. I think this is it. Yeah. Is this the same? Mm -hmm. uh, it might be. I don't know. Because I love this the pencil. Well, let's swatch it, shall we? Uh, let's come over here. Okay, this is Embrace Me. And this is 
candy yum yum. If this is the same, but this one looks a little bit brighter. No, it's not the same. Okay. Yeah, candy yum yum is brighter than Embrace Me. Okay, so I feel better. So I hope you guys can see this swatch. This is Embrace Me, and this is Candy Yum Yum on the bottom. Okay, so the two totally different colors. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm put this back in here for now. And the next one that I got was Night Nightingale. Uh, so this is this one. Um, I'm trying to think. This is Vino. No, this is not the same. Vino's darker. No, it's not Night Moth. Never. So I guess this is a little different. And this is like a purpley plum. It's a nice purple lip liner, which. Swatch of that there. Right there. It's pretty. Nice. Nice. So I got that one. And I got the Ruby Woo, which is the same color as Ruby Woo lipstick. I, again, I have Ruby Woo. I don't have Ruby, but they're the same lipstick. It's just, I think Ruby Woo is not as, uh, excuse me, Riri Woo is not as drying as Ruby Woo. That's just my opinion. It's my opinion. And this is Ruby Woo. The lip pencil right there. Okay. So, yeah, I got these three lip pencils. And I got two of the lip glasses. And the two lip glasses that I got were Ruby Woo and Candy Yum Yum. So, I don't have Candy Yum Yum lipstick. Don't judge me. Don't talk about me. No, I don't have the lipstick. Um, so I was like, let me get the lip gloss since I have the lip pencil. And when I saw this lip glass, I said lip gloss, lip glass. Ooh, that pink right there. Right there. Yes. 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 Get your life. Let's see. Yes, Lord. And all of this stuff here, I guess you could say it's early Valentine's Day present for me. None of this stuff is going in my kit. Oh, it's all mine. And this is Ruby Woo. So, and yeah, so this is Ruby Woo. Nom nom. It's just like the lipstick. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Yes. And I have a couple of red lip glasses from, you know, previous MAC collections. But this is the authentic uh, match to the Ruby Woo, Ruby Woo lipstick. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. This is gorgeous. Yes, my lovelies. So that is all she wrote um, from the MAC Toledo collection and the, what's the name of the collection again? I forgot. Penciled in. I had to look at my phone. Um, so that's the stuff that I got. And again, guys, I hope you guys can get your hands on some of the items from the Toledo collection. And the packaging is gorgeous. Like, they really outdid themselves. Mac outdid themselves. Like, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, let me stop acting silly. Um, It's late. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. So, I hope you guys have a nice evening. Um, I would love to know what you guys got from the collection. If you got anything, you know, just leave a comment down below. Thumbs up this video, guys. I want you to rate, comment, subscribe. And I love you guys so much. Um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.